Hello again, I just thought I might uh, give importing data with load data a separate video so uh, I prob it probably makes you know it probably makes more sense to do it this way so people can find it easily now I've actually explained this already you can go back to the video which s talks about uh, exporting data with selects but I'm going to repeat it quickly so what I have here is the syntax of how the load data works so you have load data local from our local computer from local file in file so it's in this file let's say I need to specify the file path and file name where the data is data that was generated by the select star into out file if, if you don't know how to do this go back to the uh, to the uh, the video where we explain select uh, export using select but this is the syntax of it but anyway the file name into table what table that I'm using remember you need to do this when you're actually logged in into your MySQL now in order to do that remember when you log into MySQL you have to have that option there to enable uh, loading data otherwise it will not work for you so let me just log in quickly as I said I'll be quick because I've actually explained this previously and then I'll use my temp DP just for demonstration purposes and if you say I'm sorry I'm using small case if you say I'm sorry if you just have a look at the date why do I need databases I need to say show tables yes show tables then I have these tables now the teams table is actually empty I've emptied it so we can import the data to it if I select everything just to show you that's actually empty now the data I have as I said I generated it using this command and then I copied the file into my desktop and if you, if you have a look at the contents of the file on my desktop uh, teams table this is what it looks like you know the contents of the teams table that we had before and I will import it now into this teams table which is empty as you will see in a second so the load data it looks like works like this load data local in file and then I give the file name into table and then I give the table name of course I'm logged in and I'm using the database which contains this table so copy that paste it run the command you see now records affected if you see now uh, the contents here where the table was empty at this moment but now it has the data this is how you import your data uh, into a table using the load data now we have more than one way of exporting and importing the data as we said before this can be used for backup purposes data recovery or even transferring tables or complete databases from one host to another thanks very much for watching this might be the last video in this series I'll just think about adding one or two more maybe or three if I can otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you in another series bye bye now